Hello and welcome to Retro Cars Reborn, as you can see. Very cold in here today. Not really that bad though. I'm Lee, if you've been here before you'll know that, if you're new thank you for checking out my channel and uh, we are going to be working on the 2.8 Capri, the bad boy and today I'm going to see if we can get this strut top finished to a decent standard so that it matches the other side so I can order two wing rails and slap them on so let's see how this goes probably more than three years ago if you check out one of my first ever uploaded videos it was Capri restoration so far when I made a little slideshow and uh, basically I found that all this was rotten and I cut the entire thing out and made a uh, just you know just a basically a big chunk of metal and just made it into the shape and uh, yeah when I moved and I brought the car with me I just quickly slapped some red oxide over it to keep the welds clean because I knew I'd come back to it one day so as you can see they need going over again all the holes need filling Still Fill these spot welds that I did, well plug welds that I did around this top a little bit better. Clean up these sides. Alright, so I'll go over it with the welder and we'll see how it comes out. So what I've done is, as you can see, once the plate's been welded in, I've gone round again all the areas that have just slightly been mist or when you grind it down it brings a little line where the two plates join up and you just go round see this hole needs filling this hole needs filling that hole needs filling started to do that one and you just grind it down again and then see what you're left with so usually when you grind it down again you get left with like that there what you see and then you just blob some weld over the top of that, grind it down again, eventually it'll start to look like you know you've never welded it between look. Just like there as well. See a little tiny line, so you just weld over that again and grind it down. And just keep repeating the process. So I'm just gonna jump ahead at myself a little bit. So I know these welds here have got to be perfectly seamless and practically invisible. But what about the rest? It's being covered with a strengthening plate, so knowing where the strengthening plate starts and ends would be a great thing to know. So voila, one strengthening plate, it doesn't fit perfectly yet, you can see the lines are misaligned there, that's the only one that lines up but we've got the, uh, the gist of where it's going to go so literally can hold it in place So basically, now I know why there's a giant hole there, because there would have been a smaller hole there and it's rusted around it. Take the strengthening plate away. By the way, this is a this is a Magnum Panels strengthening plate. Magnum Panels make pretty good parts. I mean, I'm sure you can see the telephone number from there, hopefully. So there we go, so now I know that everything this side of this line has got to be absolutely mint. Might just be able to skim that with a little bit of filler, hide it a little bit better. Keep, because otherwise I'm just going to keep welding it, grinding it, welding it, grinding it, and I could be for years. Same as this side, like everything this side of this line has got to be minted. So let's carry on. 
So this hole that was here, I ended up cutting a square out because there was no way you could fill it. This one I managed to fill. I mean, it looks like there's a hole there, but there really isn't. And as previously mentioned, anything, anything on this side of this line, you're not going to see. It's covered all by that strengthening plate bar this little tiny bit here. So I've cut it out, I'm going to stick a plate in there, weld it, grind it down and we'll see what it looks like after. So with the strengthening plate bolted in, I can see how much of this inner panel that I had to make needs cutting out. I can also see that's going to need a little bit of filler on the top just to hide that. I'm, you know, I've I've ground it down and welded it probably five times now and I think that's as best as I'm going to get it. Same with this side. There's that one little hole that needs a blob in and a quick grind on that bit but that's alright. Same with that little bit there. I dare say I have to drill a hole there. Just like in the other side. Yes, yeah, taking shape. You can see that these magnum panels are absolutely perfect. That line look. It, it does line up and you need to remove this horrible jagged edge and I've done my best to flatten that out I'll, I'll have another go at flattening that out but yeah it's uh, not looking bad but before I slap this piece down I've got to repair this bit this bit and this bit and there's another piece on the other side so if I'm moving off from the strut top saying I've got to repair this piece here and this piece here was also this piece I just gave a little love tap with a hammer to see how much of it was salvageable and literally the whole thing just fell through you can see how rusty it is just push the rust out with your, with your fingers well it's effectively three layers you've effectively got that inner layer it's still there this layer then, which was put behind it, and then this panel sat on top. So you can see where the original spot was, where it holds a lot together. It's literally just allowed water to go up, up inside between the three layers and rot it out from the inside. Which explains why Capri's rot here on the inside of the wing when it's all put together and you open the bonnet and you can see rust, rust patches here. It's because when it's in driving and spraying all of the water up into this gap which they uh, inadequately protected so yeah so I've got to cut this out and uh, effectively put three layers of metal back in so uh, I'll crack on with that and uh, you shall join me with the update so I just finished dropping those two repair sections in so there's one as you can see I left a little notch above there so it goes in there there's the other again this height difference doesn't matter because this is the original wing rail so it's this low and then it, it like bends up and gets taller as it goes along so this height difference doesn't matter because it's going to have to be cut down and slowly made into a gradient anyway but luckily I use the the laser capri and measure it so that I can get it absolutely perfect drop the wings on do some more measuring before they get welded in drop some uh, primer on top of everything because you know it's more than Ford ever did when they put these panels on top they just you know there was nothing in between to stop anything so yeah right then time to crack on with the multi-layered piece now here you can see the layers better you've got the piece that I put in that's the strut top which also holds the wing rail and you can see it's one piece runs all the way across get to where that rotten piece was weld it in again it is one piece that's separate from this art piece so when I said it was three layers the third layer is that little lip that I managed to save which is thank god so we've done what it would have been like originally and basically just replicated some spot welds to hold that bottom piece on. So that becomes now the one single piece that runs behind there. So the next thing to do is 
drop the light down. Next thing to do is, is the third piece, which is this outer piece, which now needs a bit that goes up to there. Literally left that as a last point. Literally just up there. Across there. And again, that was originally spot welded on, but we'll, we'll seam weld that little piece there. And it literally just pushes back in place. And the wing rail sits on top of that, and the wing rail will be the probably the next video if, I, if it's not the next video the next video will be uh, my video repairing that side but as you've seen this side repaired I don't see the point so yeah so the next video might be the wing rail so yeah I'll just crack on with this next bit and uh, I'll bring you back in on that and look at the panel before well the, I say panel repair piece before it's Fully welded in. I'm not, you know what, I might leave that as a gap because it was originally a gap, but if I seam weld it, then the water will never get behind there again. And obviously, I've left holes in it to spot weld it to the inner plate. And then it smoothly gets welded into this piece here. So let's crack on. So there we have it. One strut top repaired. Nice little panel put in here. little panel put in there still really think I'm going to uh, seam weld that just to make sure but yeah it's uh, been a good journey that just waiting for my wing rails to arrive in the post now the strengthening pieces that go here they need repairing of course before they go back on the other strengthening plate for that side now and she'll be pretty much ready for me to finish this front panel and stick that on once again thanks for watching I've been Lee this has been Retro Cars Reborn give us a subscribe give us a like Leave us a comment if you really want to and I will see you in the next one.